Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part five of our deep dive into the TechDraw workbench. And in this part, we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna talk about uh, configurable uh, templates or templates with configurable data elements and how you can customize them. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, all the way through this tutorial, I've been using this, uh, uh, this bracket as a test part. And for the page, I've been using a US letter, eight and a half by 11 inch, uh, just a white template without any decorations on it. But obviously, TechDraw templates can get more complicated than that. Um, and you can, it, like we said before, you can change them at any time. So I'm gonna load up uh, one like this US letter uh, landscape like this, and you can see here that, that this template has these edge decorations for, uh, uh, for the grid markers or grid indicators. And then it's got these uh, grid or these green fields that are, are clickable where you can, uh, uh, you can click on one of these things and change the name. And, uh, and the, it's updated in the field and, and will be stored uh, with the document when it's saved. So when you restore it, it'll, it'll come back. Uh, now, the thing you might want to do with this is customize your, your template for your uh, particular company or your particular use. Um, and, and, uh, and also, uh, most of the templates that are there are for uh, European metric standard size paper. There's a couple things for U.S. Uh, sizes, but not very many. So uh, in this, I'm going to run through how we would customize one of these. And the one I'm going to uh, try to create is a portrait view uh, of a, on a legal size uh, piece of paper. So um, let's see, so let's go ahead and jump in. The way you do this, you're gonna use uh, Inkscape to customize this. And you'll open up the, uh, uh, the template file. Uh, and these all exist in, under your install directory. There's a, a, a mod tech draw templates, which should have them all in there. And they all have an SVG extension. So I'm gonna start with this uh, ANSI B portrait and I'll open this up and you can see that uh, um, you know, it, it's oriented in portrait mode and has the data block down below. So in order to customize this thing, the first thing that I have to do is I have to change my paper size or my page size. So I'm gonna to go to document properties. Let me move this over so you can see this. And uh, we're going to set a custom size on this. And I've I already looked up what uh, U.S. letter is. And uh, uh, one mistake that's easy to make is to set your units into inches if you're customizing for U.S. Uh, paper. But you don't want to do that because you want the document to be stored in millimeters, which is FreeCAD's native unit. So even though this is going to be an 8.5 by 14 inch piece of paper, I'm going to set this to 216 by 356 millimeters. And then down below is this view box property. And this should automatically update to reflect the same thing. Basically, we want the view box uh, of, the, um, of the SVG to be the same size as the, the, uh, of the paper size. So 216 by 356. So I'm going to close that. Now you can see that my page size has been adjusted, but my content uh, is still the same size that it was. So I can select all of this, and, uh, um, and you can see that it's ungrouped right now, which is fine. Uh, now I want to scale this down, and I want this to be, I'm going to have a six millimeter border all the way around. So I'm going to start this at six millimeters in the X direction, and six millimeters in Y. And then I'm gonna scale this down to 204 by 344. That's 12 millimeters less in the X and Y direction than our paper size. And then it's uh, adjusted by six millimeters uh, in each direction. So that puts our, our content into the center here. Now I'm gonna, everything looks good. Um, and if I zoom up on it and scroll down, you'll see that the, uh, my data block is right there. And I, I will save this. And uh, I'm going to put it someplace. 
uh, where I can get to it in, um, I usually put these, I've got a Dropbox uh, TechDraw templates where I put things. And we'll call this uh, US Legal Portrait. And if I switch over to back to FreeCAD now and change my template and back out to my uh, FreeCAD TechDraw templates and choose that US uh, legal portrait, you'll see that it, my, my page size readjusted, but those clickable data blocks aren't, they're not located where they should be over the, uh, over the fields. Okay, now back in Inkscape, let's take a little closer at those fields and see if we can figure out what's going on with the transforms. I'm going to open up the uh, XML editor, and you'll see that I have the, uh, the document structure here, and then there's a layer that contains all of the content underneath it. And scrolling down in here, you'll see these fields uh, that are um, you know, block A company, block A address. And if I click on one of these, you'll see that it has an attribute that's called FreeCAD colon editable. And this, it's this attribute that TechDraw uses to create the, the green clickable uh, icon for the update. Uh, and it's, it's the field that gets uh, saved into the FreeCAD document. Um, so it, it's retained when, when you save your document. Um, the, and if we look down underneath it, uh, th this field has a transform on it. And scrolling back up to the top, the layer uh, that contains everything also has a transform on it. And it's the combination of these transforms uh, that is not getting applied correctly um, on FreeCAD. And I, I don't know if the problem exists in FreeCAD or if it's a problem with Inkscape, but uh, uh, I'm going to show you the only way that I've found to, to correct it. Uh, the first thing we want to do is select all of the content that's here and say um, cut. And then I'm gonna select the, the, uh, that layer node. Um, so it, you'll see I'm on layer one. And then I can select the transform uh, attribute in the list and delete that transform. And then coming back over here to the layers, I wanna make sure that I've got layer one selected and I'm gonna say paste in place. And you'll see that my content ended up exactly where it was before, except that my layer no longer has a transform on it. So now if I save this back to my US uh, legal portrait and, uh, and then switch to FreeCAD, and uh, in order to update the changes, you have to switch away from the template and then back again. So I'll just change to that one and then back to my legal portrait. And you'll see that it's much better now. The, uh, whereas the fields were down here before, they're now close to the right spot, but they're, they're still shifted off. And, and that's because the individual fields in here, these editable fields also have a transform on them. So um, the next thing I, I need to do is remove those transforms. And, the, uh, uh, the, the way I've found to do this that, that's, uh, I don't know, the easiest for me is to first create another layer, and I'm going to call this editables, and I'm going to use that just to hold the editable fields. So then switching, uh, let me zoom up on my, um, what I want to do is start selecting these fields, and I can shift select multiple, and uh, then I can right click and say move to layer editables. And if I switch over and turn off editables, we can see that, that what I'm doing is I'm moving the content out uh, and leaving the grid behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that to the rest of these. Okay, now you can see that I've got my grid uh, with no content in it. And then in my uh, editables layer, I've got all the content that's here. Now I need to remove those transforms. So back over in the XML editor, I'm gonna scroll down to uh, and open up that new layer down below. There's my blocks and I need to iterate through each one of these 
select the transform node and remove it and delete that attribute. And you're going to see that it moves out of position. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of these. Okay, now I've got all of the uh, uh, fields with the transforms removed, but they're in the wrong position relative to my grid. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to lock my uh, first layer so I don't make any changes to it. And then I can select everything, which will just give me those fields, and then use the positioning uh, controls here to roll those back into, uh, into correct position. And I can fine-tune them so that they, uh, uh, they look correct. And so I should have... Um, I think my B ends up in the middle of this field and I'm not crossing any lines. And you could fine tune this as well if you wanted to move uh, Rev over a little bit um, and get, get the positioning exactly the way that you want it. Now I'm going to save the document one more time. And going back to FreeCAD, switch away and then switch back. Now you can see that my fields are correctly positioned and my clickable icons are right where they should be. So you can update them and your content will get saved with your document. Now something else you might want to update on this is to add a, a company logo or something here. And that's very easy to do uh, in Inkscape. Switch back over to your document, uh, make sure your layer is unlocked, and then import um, a, whatever file you want to use. I'll use my, uh, my light bulb icon and uh, scale it um, holding the control key so it scales proportionately, and then just drag it into position. And uh, you can fine tune it and then save your document one more time. And now on FreeCAD, if we change over uh, yet again and back, we'll get our we'll get our icon included, and uh, um, and our fields are still editable the way they. That's the only way that I found for editing those templates that gets the content scaled correctly and gets the fields in the correct position so they can be clicked on. Uh, if you know of a better way of doing this or removing those transforms, uh, I'd love to know it. Please leave a comment down below uh, or come out and, and help edit the wiki so that uh, everybody can follow along in the future. As always, thanks for watching. If you got a question or comment, please leave it down below. Thanks.